as you can tell, I'm wearing some PJs today and we are doing a really fun video. That is a fall guide to PJ styling for fall. And this video is in collaboration with Picky Jane Simona from Picky Jane. <laughs> this is Simona. Hello. <laughs> and you have a vintage shop called Picky Jane. Picky Jane and It's a moving shop. Yes, it's a moving shop. It shows up at the Rose Bowl. It shows up at Golden Years. Mm -hmm. Pops up here and there. I'm so excited because, for one, I've been a big fan of yours for a long time. And you're an amazing stylist. And just also create and curate a gorgeous collection of vintage. I feel like we love vintage the same way. We do. Today is really fun. We're going to actually style some of these. Yes. What's the story with the PJs? Yes. Some of them are, are all of them are pre-loved. Mm and some of them are upcycled through tie-dye yes that i do in my kitchen <laughs> yes that we're rocking right now but first before we do that i would love everyone to get to know you a little bit better so first maybe tell everybody who you are what you do mm -hmm. and then a little bit about picky jane who am i <laughs> So my name's not Jane. My name's Simona. <laughs> right. <laughs> Everyone thinks that my name is Jane. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. But yeah, Picky Jane's just a fictitious girl who has kind of like a French mm -hmm. attitude yes. about dressing. Yes. And we just, uh, I started this with a friend a long time ago and we just were trying to think of a name of a fictitious girl who is picky and loves vintage shopping and putting that. the books together. How long ago was that? How long have you had it? I want to say it's been like 11 years. Oh, wow. Now. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And then I feel like you should tell everyone too, you work as a stylist full time as well, right? Yes. Yes. Full time right now, I'm doing less styling and I'm on, tel on a television show. So I shop for all the actors' costumes and Amazing. I'm always at the mall. Um, sometimes I'm doing fittings, but yeah. Wow. A little intense. Yes. But then on the side, you have Picky Jane. I have Picky Jane, and then when I can, I pick up like an editorial shoot or a client or um, like some a commercial. I do a lot of commercials when I'm not working full time. I love that. But yeah, Picky Jane by night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or you're hustling. You're hustling. You're making it all work for sure. Um, and then it, when it comes to vintage and even just what you bring in for Picky Jane, do you feel like you're inspired by a certain era or even a style icon or I don't know? What do you love when it comes to vintage? I think like for me personally, I like to be kind of subdued most of the time, mm -hmm. but when it comes to like mixing fabrics and textures and shopping and I like genre mixing and I like a little bit of quirky. Right now I'm like loving the tie-dye. I don't care what time of year. I just right. think it looks so beautiful on silk. Yes. And all the pajamas are 100% silk. So it just has this like luxurious but cozy sort of vibe. Um, but my favorite era is I'd say the 70s. 70s. I'm obsessed. I know. With the 70s. I see. Because within the 70s there's like classic like you know preppy 70s, there's the disco mm -hmm. 70s, there's bohemian. Do you feel like there's one that speaks to you the most within the 70s? Love the boho, love yeah. the glam. Yeah. I mean, yeah, same. Rock and roll, everything rock and All roll about it. the 70s. Yeah, no, it's so good. Today we're going to have some fun. We are going to style up. You have a whole selection of these, right? You have some tie-dye and then you also mm -hmm. have just some pre-loved amazing silk PJs. And I feel like, of course, everyone likes to be at home and wear a great pair of PJs, but yep. you can wear them outside the house too. You sure can. Yes. <laughs> and so do you have any tips when it comes to styling up PJ dressing for daytime? And then also we are getting into fall. So what are maybe some of your styling tips with taking it outside the house and dressing it up for mm -hmm. day or even night? I think the jewelry and the shoes are what's going to kind of yeah. ground it together. You totally. know, like I love right now that you're wearing this like oversized slouchy look with a sneaker. <laughs> I just think that's so cool, especially totally. on a tall girl like you. And it, I feel like it's so fun because I feel like it's such a weekend vibe, like fun, like go to the farmer's market, go mm -hmm. to the flea market, throw mm -hmm. on some PJs, go grab brunch. It really is, I feel like the shoe maybe a little bit of layering here and there, but you can really yeah. kind of uh, transport it, translate it yes. to different looks. Yes, and I, some of them, like, I list them as one size fits all mm. because you can 
different body types yes. can wear different sizes of pajamas different and ways, like what yeah. you're wearing is like this slouchier more oversized kind of like boyfriend husband right and this is actually a men's pajama oh. um as you can tell like mine is women's oh yes tell everybody that because i forget that okay so so men so let's switch okay. so let's pretend we're in the car and you're driving okay i'm driving okay so when the way to know a men's to a <laughs> right a woman's to a men's pajama blouse uh -huh. is if you can reach into each other's tops just by oh going like this, gosh, that's then awesome. you're, you're wearing the, the other one. So you're the male because yes. I can reach to okay. you and you're driving. Unless and we're in England. So it's very and like. It's switched. Sure. Right? Yeah, in Australia and <laughs> right. Thailand. Right. Um, that's amazing. But that also goes for blazers too, right? Or like mm -hmm. sports jackets. Yeah, and things, I think right? it's the opposite side. The only time it doesn't really apply is with denim, I think. Oh, like okay. pants. Huh. So trousers as they would say in the UK. Love it. We're learning here. <laughs> Education. Okay, but we're gonna have some fun today. What we're gonna do is put on different PJ sets and then it's gonna be like I'm a paper doll in them and we're going to dress them up and play and create different looks on top of the PJ sets yep. for fall. It's yep. gonna be fun. It's gonna be so play fun. Dress up? Totally. Let's do it. First PJ set that we're styling up is this mix. Oh my gosh, mixed <laughs> matched set. So we're doing this 90s floral with this a little bit more of a ditzy print floral, a little bit lighter, and we're going to make this a fall look. So dressing up for fall, this PJ set is mixed matched. We felt like we liked the idea of two florals coming together and doing this kind of 90s, right, Simona, when you say it's like a 90s floral? Yeah. Yeah. My so-called life. Yes, very my so-called life with Claire Danes, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we paired these two prints together and then we gave it a little bit of a 90s grunge vibe with all oh, the fun chunky black AS98 boots. Kind of a cropped pant, so we liked that the boots really were, you know, a showstopper there, right at the edge of the pant. Looks very fun. And then to layer it up for fall, we did a quilted vest, and then just threw a little bolo tie on with it, just to add something at the neck. I thought it would be fun to throw a beret on, a little bit of that Ghani action. And then, let's tell them the little styling trick we did right here. Oh yeah, well, the length of the sleeves was just kind of neither here nor there, right, and they were just kind of floating. So we added this rubber band trick just to keep them like slouched up and give it that sort of effortless, like chic, of... like, I don't give a crap. Right. <laughs> so this is how we are styling a, a mixed match PJ set for fall. This is honestly like such a great, perfect day. What did you say, Simone? You were like, if I was selling at... Oh, if I saw you at Golden Years, I'd be like, that girl's so cool. So just like the perfect, I feel like market day, just fun running around look. And I would honestly like spend any day in this, any time. Ready for a good time. <laughs> So now we are going to take this PJ set, which this has this amazing, what do you call this, Simona? Foulard. Foulard print. Love that. Men's PJ top. And then this incredible, simple, subtle, striped navy PJ pants. We mix these together, and then we're, I think we're going to dress this up very um, evening glamour. So mixing and matching. First, Simona, tell us the two prints that we're doing here with the oh, PJ set. Okay, yeah. So I'm seeing this like folk print, this like really cool handkerchief that you had that you added that gives you so much shape. Love that. And mixing that with this foulard print, which looks like a men's tie kind of. And this is actually an oversized, like slouchy men's PJ top. Pajama blouse. And then Pajama we did top. These uh, striped ones, which these are so cool because they say, what is it, Catherine? Hammett? Hammett? Doesn't I she love make that. bags? I don't know, but I kind of love that, that it has her name on the stripe. And then for this look, we just went full on glam. We were thinking like, let's take the PJs out of the bedroom, off to dinner somewhere fabulous for a party. And so it was all about piling things together, all very luxurious and very glamorous. 
So we did, we tied that scarf around the waist and even did like lots of different pro proportions, like different lines happening, which I liked with the different print mixing and the stripes and then threw over the tiger row because it's just amazing in heaven. And then we decided it needed something extra fab on it of this very fluffy fur collar edition. And I love that this is blue and it references the blue in the PJs. And sticking with more jewel tones, we did, if you come down here, we did these plum platform sandals just to elevate the look and definitely give it more of an evening vibe with that. And then just grabbed this amazing bag from Sarah at Cameo Parents Vintage. Just a, another jewel tone and also the glamor of the gold in the bag. And I feel ready for a dinner date out, right? It's amazing. And I love the way you took this like oversized, big, slouchy men's shirt. Yes. And then took it in and made it like sexy and gave your body shape again with the with handkerchief. The scarf, right? Yeah, it's so cool. Next up, we are going to take this amazing lavender hand dyed, tie dyed set, and we're going to take this into fall. And I'm so excited to see where it goes. So the next look was, we started with this tie dye lavender PJ set. And Simona had some fun judging and playing with this look. And what inspired like the mixing? Cause I, I thought it was like a really fun mix of colors. I mean, I think what inspired me was your your shoes. I was like, oh, that, that kind of brushed copper color would look so cool with this sort of electric lavender, you know? And then I think the socks, like that kind of pukey yellow with the <laughs> pukey green of the bag. Like, I just think those colors together look really cool. I know, I loved that. And I felt like I learned from that because I feel like I wouldn't have necessarily grabbed all of this together, but it's so funny. We were even saying it's a little bit ducky, like inspired mm -hmm. with the sock shoe <laughs> short pant vibe and then i loved also adding the turtleneck because i feel like that even has some of that pukey green in it yep. and it has some shine and material too which i liked kind of mimicking you know the silk of the amazing pj set and then this great green bag with this and this just feels like cool right you look awesome like cool girl weekday yeah, and this tie-dye is like, it's kind of summery. Like typically right. tie-dye yeah. feels very summery, very like music festival, but I think with the turtleneck yes. and the socks, it just kind of brings it into the new season of fall. We are styling PJs for fall, so it's a perfect mixing. Next, we're gonna style this set, which is this fun floral, top with more of a simple navy pant. It does have this cool lining here at the bottom. And I wanna give this some Western magic. So we are taking this mixed match, darker tone, kind of blue navy set, opened it up and made it almost as if it's a suit and gave it a little bit of a Western spin. So it was about putting this shrunken little suede vest underneath and then layering the PJ top over it. And I liked the idea of this really gorgeous kind of fun floral. This is 90s too, wouldn't you say? Like a 90s? Yeah, it looks floral. very 90s. Yeah, and then pairing it with another navy pair of pants. But I do like the little detail down here. There's like a fun, almost like what, maps or something kind of print on the edge, which is just like a fun little pop right there with the Western boot to give it that cowboy styling and then to just keep it within that genre we did a little b bolo tie tied on my scarf here at my neck and then i did this amazing really structured western inspired hat and i feel like this just came together really nicely this would be so much fun like out in joshua tree going to Pappy and harriet's which is a fun music venue seeing a fun concert in the desert and i really like how this came together what do you think Simona? i think it's super cute and actually it's not a set but you made right. it a set yeah and, and so i think that's I think... what's fun with these is that i think that's a great idea in general with pjs is like finding two and then mixing them together yeah and making it your own yeah i think that's what kind of gives it the individuality 
and self-expression. Love it. The last set we're gonna do is the one I started out in and I'm so excited. It's this amazing tie-dye oversized silky. Is this a men's set? Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. So we're gonna give this a little bit of the weekend cozy, roll out of bed, go grab your coffee story. Last and final look, we are embracing PJ dressing with the weekend cozy mode. This is your, I rolled out of bed, I have fabulous PJs on, and then I'm going to add some fun pops in there to go grab my coffee, to go grab brunch. And so what did we do, Simona? Ooh, well we, first of all, we added these really cool Fila sneaks. Yes, and wait, I feel like you have to talk about the mismatch. Oh, totally. You asked me what color I liked of the socks, and I was like, let's just do one of each. I love that. I'm kind of seeing that on the streets a lot, and I think it's cute. It's like yeah. self-expression. I love it. I like the tie-dye sock with the tie-dye of the PJs, and then we styled them with just this one button here, right? And then kind of did the floppy tuck. So yeah, so you always tuck the under layer. So, so the one with the buttons usually, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, exactly. Inside. And then kept the other one outside with a little pop of skin. And then it is fall, so we need to add a little cozy layer. So we added this amazing kind of buttery yellow quilted jacket. Very just fun, cozy throw on. Perfect piece for the weekend. And then a reference to my hometown of Hilton Head. Uh, this very like 90s tourist hat probably that's white, which I loved the colors in this. And then this little tote bag, right? Super fun little tote bag. This was just given to me this week by my coworker. She got it at a, like an art gallery of this Ooh. artist. Ooh, that's and cool. the artist asked her if she knew anyone that wanted an extra bag, and I wish I could um, plug her right now. But well, we'll find out. I don't and remember then we'll her name. Add her name right here on the screen so you can see that. And I just think a fun, colorful tote bag is a fun little weekend bag because you can throw all your stuff in it. Simone has even got her water bottle in it. So <laughs> all your necessities to keep yourself hydrated. Um, but I am digging this, and this is, I mean, we are filming this on a weekend, and this feels just like I might as well just walk out of the studio and be done for the day. It's so cozy, but so cute at the same time. And I love, I sometimes get stumped by casual dressing, but I think you can totally make like really cozy casual into really interesting, fun outfits. And hopefully we accomplish that, right? <laughs> you look adorable. One. I love it. Thank you. So cute. Loving it. Okay. Thank you. Thank this was you. so much fun. It was so much fun. I loved styling up PJs for fall. This was like kind of new. I feel like I do it a lot with like spring and summer, but I think it's really fun to kind of give PJs the yes. fall magic, right? I agree. I agree. I, I love some of the ideas you brought to the table and I'm going to try them Same out. for you. I love it. I mean, I'm working with a real master here, so it's so much fun. I love learning from other stylists like I think it's so incredible and you're so inspirational so it's Thank just it's you. really fun to like play with the different both different ideas and like put two brains together right? yeah I think yeah. it's fun collaborating with you because you oh. you have your own sense of style and your own ideas and we make magic Ma when we come together mashing them magic mash magic mashing <laughs> <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Yes. Okay, but what's really fun is that these are all for sale, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Some of them are sets. Some of them are separates. Right. This one's a set that I made last night. Yeah. <laughs> um, threw it in a pot in the kitchen. Let's do pot, it. Pot of dye. Making it happen. And you also have a collection on Free People as well, right? Yes. We have a virtual flea market on freepeople.com and you just put Picky Jane in the search line and it'll bring up all my pieces. Yes. Yeah. So, and then that gives you all the information, all the measurements, so you know what you're getting exactly and you mm -hmm. don't have to, I mean, they can DM you as well, but yes, it's nice. Yes, DM me for yes. the looks that Beth yes. has been wearing. Yes. Because those are not listed on free people. They're exclusive. They're exclusive for us. I love that. So I will put um, Simona's link down below for your Instagram so they can DM you there, right? Thank you. Yes. And then also I will put the link for the free people shop as well. Any other places people can find you? 
Find me at the Rose Bowl next month, yes. every second Sunday. Oh, yay. Yes, so go shop Picky Jane at the Rose Bowl. You're also going to be at Golden Years, which is coming up oh, yeah, in yeah. October 23rd. 20 something like that. The Saturday yes. of that weekend. Yes. And then I'm moving into a place called the Gold Mine in Glendale. So I'll be in a showroom where you can actually come and see the collection. Amazing. So definitely follow her on Instagram because that's where you'll get all of that information. You can always DM her as well. Thank you for joining me. This was so much fun. And I just want to say, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. I have new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And finally, always play dress up. Bye!